Well, hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be creating a weekly layout in my Wellness Happy Planner. And I decided for this week, with what has been going on, that I'm going to try something completely different that I've never really tried in my Wellness Planner. So to get started with my layout, I'm going to go ahead and use some of this really super cute and fun and bright and colorful uh, washi tape from the Wellness uh, Happy Planner collection. I just absolutely love the colors of this washi tape. Like, I use it literally almost every day in my Passion Planner daily. <laughs> but I believe that this is probably maybe the first if not the second time that I'd actually be using it in my wellness planner. So with the theme that I'm going for this week is going to be set for a fitness routine or you can consider it like weight loss. And the reason being, which <laughs> I wanted to use that washi tape so bad, but it just didn't fit with what I was going with. But um, the reason for this layout is last week I came across the Noom app and I don't know if some of you have seen the advertisements for it but like I've seen the advertisements and I really wasn't like I don't know intrigued enough to like actually look at it but I, I don't know what the difference was last week but the advertisement just really caught my eye so I checked it out and they do offer a 14 day trial period, which they do ask for $18, but there is a $1 option. And I'm sorry, but if I'm trying out an application, um, yeah, I'm going to be trying it out for a dollar. And so I did try it and I mean, it was good. I would state for somebody who's never uh, dieted or calorie tracked or, you know, any, anything of that nature. If you've never done any of that before, the Noom program is for you. From, from what I'm seeing, it looks to be really good and it is legit. And I love the fact that they incorporate, uh, CBT into it, which is cognitive behavioral training. Uh, basically they're going to rewire your brain so that you quit overeating <laughs> <laughs> and start doing healthy habits. Um, I have <laughs> went through the CBT training already with a version of Spark People probably like 15 years ago. <laughs> and I mean, it sticks. It, it, so when, once you do go through the CBT training, it sticks with you. So, I mean, I love the new map. I love what they're doing with it. It's just not really for me so hence why we're doing the layout that we're doing this week and I thought you know why not use some of these uh fitness stickers that I have which I think I've had them for like a year now and I've never really opened up the book except for one week so I'm gonna go ahead and use you know break out this old book here and start using some of these gorgeous stickers which the blues and the greens were speaking to me this week and so one thing that I do want to do is I want to start watching my uh, daily water intake. <laughs> I definitely do not drink as much water as I should. So I'm going to go ahead and I put those across the center bar. And I'm going to try to leave that center bar for um, like calories in. So originally I was going to mark down my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I already do that in my Passion Planner daily. So I didn't really want to do too much of that. So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to track calories in and calories out here. And I do weigh myself daily. I do that first thing in the morning. And those cute little scales, I mean, they fit perfectly. <laughs> and, okay, this, this is a big one for me, which the only bad workout is the one that didn't happen. And that appears to be my biggest issue of why my weight has crept on is yes I do yoga you know for the most part almost every day if not every other day and I've just kind of slacked off in that department 
And it, I don't know, to me, that seems to be the biggest issue because last week, whenever I did actually commit to a straight yoga routine, um, I literally shed <laughs> 9.9, which I'm sorry, I'm rounding up the 10 just because I can't believe it, but I shed approximately 10 pounds in less than 48 hours just by moving. <laughs> So, yes, little steps can go a long way. <laughs> so, that's really what the motivation is behind this. Um, my wellness planner has really been about, like, journaling and uh, tracking, you know, like, what's been going on in the day, if anything's been changing my mood. And I'm just telling you right now, like, after five days of this, I am just feeling really pumped. My energy levels are through the roof and I'm just, I just feel in a better place mentally. So I thought, why not focus on the body instead of the mind? Now, there are still going to be spots where I can uh, journal and document, which again, uh, the center row, I'm going to stick for uh, how I felt about my fitness routine or my energy levels for the day. So that that white space in between, that's going to be for journaling. And here I found a little calorie burned, which, okay, the sticker book that I am using, it's for a mini size planner, but it just, I don't know. I just, I love how tiny they are and how they still give me room in this classic size planner to um, do what I need to do. And as you can see, I originally was going to keep that box up there. And then the more I put it down here in front of the uh, steps, the, you know, your daily step total, I like the way that it looked. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep him down there. So that's my total calories out for the day, my steps and my weight all in one place. And yes, I added the little water bottle just for decoration, just because that's hopefully going to remind me, like, drink your water, lady. <laughs> yeah. And I love this sweat it off. Like, so I'm going to jot down there on the sidebar, you know, like what my plans or weekly goal is for this week it, for fitness wise. And I really did want to use these little check boxes for the digital detox. And I'm just, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I mean, I don't really like to wait and put this stuff off, but I'm going to wait for the weather just to get a little bit nicer. So more like an actual springtime so that I can actually get outside and start enjoying things instead of freezing and probably getting sick. So yeah. And oh my God, these... These, uh, the digital detox, you know, the unplugging stickers, those would have matched perfectly. I mean, honest to God, they were perfectly color matched, but they were too big. I mean, if they were mini size, I probably would have used them, but they weren't. And, okay, you're going to see later on. Okay, I, I do try to keep a weekly unplugged tracker. <laughs> Which, I don't know if you've gotten to the whole unplugging thing, and it is so hard. <laughs> it's, it's like ridiculously hard, and how difficult it is to actually try to unplug for, you know, at least one hour a day. And I've tried to bump it up to two hours a day, and it is just freaking difficult. <laughs> but I do try to add one of those trackers in. Just to remind myself that, you know, hey, you should probably do this. And then as I was flipping through, I came across this daily gratitude sticker. And I just thought, okay, well, you know, to try to balance out the fitness and the mental health, um, I'm going to go ahead and put a daily gratitude tracker down here on the bottom. And, of course, I'm using these cute little gold stars that I found all the fitness book, which, yay, I'm finally using all the books. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time since I drug that puppy out. But I'm glad and I'm feeling like it's not pushed, which I think it was kind of pushed the last time. So I'm feeling really, really good about this layout. And here we go. This is when I realized I love that blue and green. I think I got a little too much of it on the page. So I'm going to start taking colors from 
the uh, the inside, like where the discs go, I'm going to start incorporating some of those lovely light colored rainbow colors throughout my layout, just so that it's not all blue and green. And here we go. Here's those sticker rolls, which I don't know if you were like me, but you bought all the sticker rolls when they came out and you never use them because they're so difficult to store. So yeah, I'm using those as my habit trackers. <laughs> And we are going to use that roll wall by the end of this year. <laughs> that is my goal. And so that is my yoga tracker because I do yoga every day. <laughs> I'm just telling myself that I will do yoga every day. And so far I've put a yoga habit tracker in my wellness layout for the last two weeks. And I have yet to miss a day since I've put that back in my layout. So it does make a difference. <laughs> Used to have a trackers. <laughs> and all right. So now I'm trying to find something for this top row because I'm feeling I'm feeling really good about that middle row. That middle row is done. I I'm leaving, you know, space for me to journal. I'm still kind of debating on what I'm going to do with that bottom row just because I did use that really large sticker for Saturday and Sunday and it kind of goes into Friday and yeah so we're going to see what we can do with this top row and I'm thinking I'm going to like try to give myself like one item that I'm going to do for that day and I'm going to reflect upon it and as you can see we're in the uh, the new wellness sticker book. And that's when I came across these little hexagons and I didn't really have enough for what I was thinking of doing. So then I found those uh, circular or round ones and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to go with those. And for some reason, this pep talk sticker, like <laughs> it's back to me. So I'm like, okay, you know what? You're going on there. And it does kind of have like an orangey tone to it. So it incorporates some of those rainbow colors. And as much as I want to use these other stickers, they are a little bit too large for what I got going on here. So I need to stay with the smaller size stickers. And now I'm just going to kind of go in like a, a rainbow color layout. And so I pretty much, uh, I'm going to try to do my cardio or a walking on Saturday just because Saturday and Sunday are my days where I get the least amount of steps. So I'm going to try to pump myself up for that. Of course, I'm going to do an early bedtime for Friday so that I am ready to go for the weekend. Um, I chose the reading one for Thursday just because I do need to finish out this month's book so that I'm ready for March. And I am going to try some strength training for Tuesday. I thought, well, why not try to get creative on Tuesday, oh, I guess the strength training would have been on Wednesday, my bad. And of course, I'm going to pick this week's meditation for Monday. So I was like, okay, you know, and then after looking at it, I didn't really like that box on Sunday. So I'm just going to pick an unplugging because really when I'm doing me time, I am unplugged. And I'm loving this, guys. Look at this. And then I realized, like, okay, well, you've got these two bald spots down here on the bottom. So I have to move, which I know, you know, sticker torture, but i got to move this pep talk sticker. And, of course, it leaves some residue after I lift it off the page. <laughs> Gotta try to get that off of the page, which, for some reason, this one was proving to be, like, ex so freaking difficult like why why can't you just come off the page like a normal sticker pep talk so yeah but to me now this is looking more balanced out and then I got this great idea and here it is there's the 1050 sticker book and there are these little squared stickers in there and they just have lines on them there's no border nothing it's just a straight white sticker with writing lines <laughs> which would look like freaking ridiculous in any other layout but I was like this is perfect because if you remember early on there's that washi I wanted to use it so bad and it has these cute little sayings like be happy stay positive you know things like that they're like little prompts so I just decided you know what I'm gonna cut out the ones that I want I'm gonna put them on the top of these little writing squares 
and I'm going to make myself a little journaling area down below. So, hey, that is kind of like my pep talk row. So I'm going to write about, you know, on Monday, what did I have to be happy about and how my week's going to go because you are your mindset. Of course, by Wednesday, I'm going to need that pep talk. Uh, Thursday, I need to stay positive because there's one more day to go and then it's the weekend. And of course, on Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to use that workout label area and I'm going to discuss how I felt about what I achieved for the week. So look at this. This is perfect. I have my daily to-dos on the top row. I get to reflect on how my workout made me feel in the middle and I get to reflect on my uh, overall mental health and um, feelings general, you know, typical feelings of what I accomplished for on the week on the bottom. So it is different from what I normally do for my wellness planner layout, but I am loving this setup and it's just, it's so different and it's bright and colorful and it includes everything that I wanted to fit on this page. So there you go, guys. That is it. I'm sticking with this. I'm hoping that this is going to help me achieve my goals for this week and I cannot wait to see you again in my next plan with me. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and check me out at stitchpiration.com.